Hello everybody. Welcome or welcome back. I hope you're gonna enjoy this video because I certainly will enjoy making it. So in this video I'll be doing a book haul and uh like a decent book haul for me is like 10 books but now we have nine books so it's still a decent book haul but not as much as 10 books is a decent book haul but I'm still gonna film it and there is there is there's a but but all of these books except one of them are ebooks so I'll only be showing pictures and not the physical books because I do not own a physical book just yet because I ordered it on Amazon so I'm just gonna show all the books and pictures and I hope you're excited so in total these probably cost me around like 50 euros i think and that sounds like a lot but i bought nine books for 50 euros most of them cost like five euros or a little more a little less um so that rounds up to 39 euros and 90 cents for the ebooks for eight ebooks and then 11 euros and 30 cents for the physical book so that is around yeah, around 50 euros. But now, I uh, my wallet is a little bit lighter than it was before. But I do own a little bit more books right now. So let's haul them to you guys. Hey. The first book that I want to talk about. This is a physical book that I do not own physically yet. But I will soon. As in today. It's The Trader Queen by Danielle, Danielle L. Jensen. I do not even remember the correct way to pronounce the name or if I even said the name right. L. Jensen, right? Or not J. Jensen. I think it was L. Jensen. Who knows? Um, I I'll just put a picture right here. So, um, this is the sequel to The Bridge Kingdom. And I'm very excited to read this because The Bridge Kingdom ended on, like, a huge open ending. And I need to know what happens next. So, I bought the sequel to that book because I quite enjoyed the Bridge Kingdom, but I read it so fast that I didn't really get the chance to really, like, process the situations that was going on. And I didn't really get to, like, experience the whole experience that I could have experienced for that book. That was a very long sentence with a lot of experience in it. So I really hope that this book will be, like, a second chance. And I really hope I can take my time reading this book so I can... Like, enjoy it a little bit more than I did The Bridge Kingdom. Because The Bridge Kingdom, I gave three and a half stars. But it could have been, like, four and a half star uh, rating if I had taken my time reading the book. Because it was a very good book. But I was a little bored at some parts. Uh, that was the only physical book that I wanted to talk to you about. Let's go to the ebooks right now. The first one is Teach Me by Olivia Day. This is the, some, There's Something About Marisburg series, I think. Is that how I pronounce it? I'm not even sure. But these are just stories and this first story i haven't i have no clue what the rest of the books are about but this one is a teacher teacher romance so it's about a teacher who has worked at the school for a very long time and then this new teacher comes along and he goes to work there too but they have to share a classroom at certain times at certain points in time so i think like i'm not at the point yet but i guess they develop a romance and you can really see uh, the development already starting to happen the uh this, it's also single dad trope so the uh the dad has gotten a divorce with his past wife but now he got a daughter out of it who is going to college college who is already older they're both in their 40s like the teacher and the teacher both the teachers are in their 40s already it's just a really fun read i think like very light very fluffy very like some smut in there i just i'm just really enjoying it as of the moment and i i really think this could be a four-star read or something like that like it's fine it's very good all right, so the next one, I think it, this is the one that I'm most excited about, but also the most skeptical about. It's Icebreaker by Hannah Grace. Yes, I said that right. Wow, out of the top of my head. That is so special for me. Like, I cannot remember names for, for the life of me, but I did right here. So, this is a spart, sports college romance, ice hockey romance, and then the girl is also an ice skater. Um, but once something happens with the rink where the ice skater skates or something like that and now they have to share a rink with the ice hockey players so she meets this guy nathan i think and starts things start to happen i have kind of read this before um for free i uh looked up an illegal site and i decided 
I, I just want to check it out, you know. Uh, but I really enjoyed it, so I decided I'm gonna buy it now because I wanted to like get the full experience right here because I didn't fully read it that time. So here we are. I have the book. I'm gonna read it. <laughs> this one. <laughs> Should I have bought it? I'm not even sure, but it was cheap, cheap. It was like six euros, I think. So this was is Astrid Parker Doesn't Fail by Ashley Herring Blake. I have my e-reader right here, so that is why, where I'm looking. Like, <laughs> I have all the books on my e-reader right here. So, Astrid Parker Doesn't Fail. I always thought that this book was called Astrid Parker Doesn't Fall. Why did I think that? It obviously states that it says fill. But I always thought it said fall, but it was it's fill. I'm not sure what this is about, but I do know that the previous book in the series that I read, I didn't really enjoy. Like, the writing style wasn't my thing, I think. I enjoyed it enough, but it wasn't like, it was, it was my type of book because I really enjoyed all of the aspects except for the writing. And that's like a, an important aspect of the story, but I'm not sure what bothered me as so much as, as uh, uh, writing style wise, but I wanted to try it again. So I bought the sequel to this and I did really enjoy the story in the previous book. So I decided I'm just going to read this story about uh, a character that also showed up in the previous book in the series. I'm excited. I already read a spoiler for this book, actually. It's Redeeming Six. Uh, this is Boys of Thomas series, book four. This is about Joey and Iofa. I do not even know how to pronounce that name. Like, the, it's set in Ireland. Ireland? Ireland? And I do not know how to pronounce that name. But it's written like this. So I hope that helped. But this is the second book in the Joey and That Girl uh, series. And there were previews Binding 13 and Keeping 13. Those were like my favorite books of December. Like I gave Binding 13 five stars. And now we have already read Keeping 6 or Saving 6. I've read Saving 6 already and now it's Redeeming 6. And this is supposed to be heavy compared to... To the previous books in the series and that is saying something because i thought that the previous books in this series were already pretty dang heavy but that is apparently nothing compared to what this book is going to be says the author so who's scared i am but i'm also excited okay this is a long name i need to prepare myself the very secret society of irregular witches <sighs> okay so this is what I heard about it, right? So I heard this story is about a witch. But in this world, witches aren't supposed to let other people know who aren't witches that they're witches. So she, uh, like, kind of bends the rule a little bit and decides to go online, post some videos, pretending to do magic for entertainment purposes. But she doesn't say that she's a witch. She's just doing, like, magic. Like, she's a magician, kind of. That is how she's pretending to be. But now someone online decides to contact her and say, can you teach someone that I know? Because she's a witch too. And she's like, huh? How does that person know that I'm a fucking witch? That is what I heard about the story. I'm very excited to read this. It sounds very fun. Uh, this is supposed to be a cozy fantasy. And I haven't read a cozy fantasy in a while, I think. So this should be a very good read, I think. I, I think I'm really going to enjoy it because there's romance. I think there's fluff. I think there's a little bit smut too, if I'm correct. I'm not even sure. Um, but I'm excited. I waited so damn long to buy this fucking book. And I'm not even sure why I waited. Like, I know it's going to be good. So why did I wait? Because I read the previous books in the series and I really, really fucking enjoyed them. So why didn't I buy this book right away? Well, because I didn't have money right at the moment, but after that, I did have money to buy this book. And why didn't I? That is like a shame because I know this is going to be good. Actor Age, Eve Brown by Talia Hibbert. So this is a like romance. Mm -hmm. And I think I'm really going to enjoy it because the guy character in this has autism. And Mir is an autistic little bitch. I'm not even kidding. I really have autism. So I think I'm really going to enjoy this. Because I can really find myself in all autistic characters I've read about so far. And I really like where representation is made. 
about autism in particular because I I can I find I can relate to that really really badly. So I'm excited. I do not really know what this one is about, uh, but I'm I'm just excited. Also, fun fact: I actually wrote in my reading journal. Like I have hobbies all the time. Like I have a hobby for a month, then I quit, and I never pick it up again. So I had this hobby with re with doing a reading journal. I should pick it up again because it was like kind of fun. Uh, but I made a goal for myself that I should finish the Brown Sisters trilogy. They're all separate books in the same series. You can read them separately. But I would, would recommend to read them in order. But I decided I'm going to finish that series. And this is the end of that series when I finish this book. So that's going to be exciting but also sad. Because I want more of this content of these sisters. It's It's so fun. Next book is actually one that isn't very popular, I think think not sure like i haven't heard of it before but i heard a youtuber a booktuber in particular talking about it so i wanted to buy it and try it out so it's a curious beginning by diana rayborn rayburn sorry if i mispronounced it but katie was re katie is reading was talking about this series a lot and was saying that it's amazing so i decided i'm gonna pick it up on my e-reader because i because it was only like three euros so i was like sign me up sign me up i bought it i have it i own it this is uh, gonna be fun because it's historical fantasy with like a sprinkle of some situationship going on i think so i think it should be really good i think i'm gonna really enjoy it but uh we'll see I'm not even sure I can show you this cover. It's uh, Losers Part 2. Part 2 of a duet. So this is the last book in the series. Um, Do YouTube guidelines allow this? <laughs> I'm not even sure. But this is Part 2 of a duet. And I read Part 1 and I really enjoyed that. Which I did not expect. It was just a lot of smut. But there was Plot 2 and I really enjoyed that. Uh, I'm not going to talk too much about it because I honestly do not want to know too much about it. Do want, don't want to know too much about it too. But I really enjoyed Losers Part 1. So I really want to read Losers Part 2, which I own right this moment. So I think I'm going to get to this soon. What I am scared about is that this is going to be too long. Because the previous books was just enough. And if it had been any longer, I wouldn't have enjoyed it as much as I did. But if this book is too long, because it is already like... Because it has already, like, been... I've already been there, done that. So I'm not sure if I will really enjoy this, but I'm still excited. What I actually mean by that is that it gets tiring. The same thing happening over and over again. And I do not want that to happen with this book. So I hope some new elements will introduce itself into this book. And not just the smut and the same storyline, the same plot line. That is what I meant. Oh. <laughs> That was all the books already. Um, I really hope you enjoyed this video. That, that was fast. That was really fast. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed this book haul overall. Hope you maybe got some recommendations out of this. And I hope I'm going to see you again in one of my other videos. So all I have to say for now is goodbye and see you later. So bye-bye.